Asia's best business minds and personalities with nowhere to hide and no way to avoid the questions. A captive interviewee for 30 minutes on board the Singapore Flyer. Welcome to High Flyers with Haslinda Amin. High Flyers, the interview show with a different perspective. With a wide range of assets spanning from Europe to Australia, Malaysia's YTL aspires to be the next General Electric. Meet its Managing Director, Francis Yeo. Francis Yeo wanted to drop out at 16 to help his father's construction company through tough times. It was his father who persuaded the young Francis a good education was a far better long-term investment and scraped up enough money to eventually send him to university in Britain. Now, four decades later, Francis Yeo has grown YTL into one of Malaysia's biggest conglomerates. The group's interests include Britain's Wessex Water, energy companies, luxury hotels in France and across Asia, upmarket shopping malls, and a new 4G mobile network. Francis Yeo is known as a flamboyant character with a love of opera. But when it comes to investment, he says he's benefited from being boring. If you are not a CEO that is judged by the tyranny of quarterization and your bonus is depending on the sales and your share price, then you can adopt long-term strategies like I did. But if, you, uh, if the shareholders uh, demand that you do something no matter what, to do any business or grow, no matter what at any time and every quarter, I don't know how we're going to buy businesses at uh, valuations that are ridiculous. So I've always told my shareholders, be patient, be patient, and uh, we'll, we'll always get them. And every time there's an economic implosion, our business just grew and grew and grew. It's grew 55% compounded. Our sales this year is 6.5 billion US dollars, and our profits, net profits, has uh, reached 350 million US dollars in a difficult time like that because all these businesses has got long-term sustainable dividend will cash flows and profits and that's that's what I like boringly exciting profit companies but to the world of short-termism and and quarterization we are boring they love this exponential growth companies every quarter not a sexy company for sure but a profitable company yes we're a profitable company and we'll be profitable for a long time to come that is exciting what's the greater plan for your utility business because you have assets all over the world including australia including the uk singapore as well you own a third mm. of the production here well energy and energy a total energy company is not just a generator. We are in all three areas now, transmission, distribution and generation and energy. So we like to be an energy, total energy player and there are a lot of scope from natural gas to shale gas to many areas. So it's, it's an interesting world. We have to keep continuing to find alternative fossil fuels that are not as destroying the environment as it is now. But how big will your business be? Because right now, 60% of your sales come from the energy business. Uh, well, it's a good business to be, but you have to be uh, very competitive, but it's increasingly very difficult and challenging to manage. Why is that? Because of the fuel prices. We're now with quantitative easing, uh, if you're not well hatched, you just like airlines, you know, you'll be caught in, um, in the energy prices going too far north, too far south. And if you don't hatch it well, you're, you're not going to make profits and consumers won't pay a lot of money for, for electricity forever. You know, so there will be political repercussions. So it's not an easy business to do when you are a merchant plant and and the uh, public is your buyers of electricity. So you supply to them and, and you have to listen to them. So it's, it's not as easy going into the future. One of the sweetest deals you've had must be Wessex Water, which you bought from Enron when yes. it was crumbling. You paid $1.8 billion. Yes. Enron itself paid $2 billion. It's now worth $3.5 billion. Can you get such deals? It's been such a profitable business venture. Yes. Uh, again, when we bought it at a time from Enron, it was a top 10 company. 
And the reason is a top company today and very profitable and uh, regulated as has a grown a huge base now is worth that much is because our people understand our DNA. We told all the management and the staff, we are not going to sell you. We are going to keep you. But there's one caveat, all right? We want you to be the top company, water company, not the top 10, all right? That's the quid pro quo. We'll keep you, we'll give you time, but we want to build it with the best water company. And we give you stocks, right? Stock auctions, and they couldn't believe it. And that's, that's how we do it, everywhere. That's the whole DNA of YTL, sustainable. We're not going to buy, polish, and sell. We're going to keep good companies. When you bought Wessex, the Herald came up with a headline saying, who are YTL? No, it better rhyme, who the hell is YTL? <laughs> <laughs> the British are very good at headlines. And, 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 and you, you came back with a move that made sure people knew who you were, you flew the three tennis to Bath yeah. in answer to that. That is a fantastic uh, evening. That's a fantastic evening. A celebration? A celebration. And it touches people a lot. I've got, up to today, lots of letters from people in the Bath. They just so incredible that evening they up to today they won't forget it coming up taking his father's advice it's either <laughs> when it's like that okay you know that it's going to do very well 